Here we have a really good calculus question that involves some graphing, some thinking, um, and it's definitely not very basic. So we've got a, b as any point on the graph y equals 1 over x. Prove that the area of the triangle formed by the tangent through a, b and the coordinate axes is 2. A lot to take in there, but we know we're going to be dealing with a tangent on the graph 1 over x. So I'm just going to graph 1 over x kind of like that and like that we know what it looks like so I'm just gonna pick a random point and label it AB okay now we know they say to take a tangent through that point so my diagram is not great but a tangent like that and they say uh, the area of the triangle formed by the tangent and the coordinate axes so both axes in other words so I'm gonna label these points where they intersect and now we want the area of the triangle. Well, how do we find area of a triangle? It is base times height over 2. So if I look at these points, um, I know that this will be... Uh, the base is right here, right? So if we're assuming from the origin, the x is the base, and the 0 is the y-coordinate, and up here on our y-intercept, that's going to represent a 0 x-coordinate, and the height of our triangle will be the x-coordinate there. So I'm just sort of labeling that. Now, we, we saw the word tangent, so we must have to use um, something to do with the derivative because that will be the slope of our tangent. So the derivative, if y equals 1 over x, y prime equals negative 1 over x squared. That's the derivative of 1 over x. So we know that the slope of this line is negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so there's base, there's height, there's a, there's b, there's x is going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this point a, b. They read it as a, b, but I'm just going to rewrite it. I know it's on my curve, so I'm going to call a, x, that's the x coordinate, and b is my y coordinate, but it's on the curve of 1 over x. y equals 1 over x, so I know that must be my y coordinate. That way we don't have to deal with a's and b's anymore. So we need everything in terms of uh, x, and we've got to show that this area equation, no matter what the point we choose is, will equal 2. That's what we need to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fact that I know through calculus the slope of the line must be negative 1 over x squared. And then how else can we find slope? Well, we can do it uh, between two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, the slope of this piece of the curve first. So from the zero height point to the AB point. Then I'm going to do the same thing and find the slope of this section all the way down to the base. And both of those must equal negative 1 over x squared, right? This is sort of the, um, in terms of x slope. So they don't care where you are on the curve. That's got to be the slope of the tangent line. So here we go. Um, Remember, slope can be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's just rise over run. So in this first section, I'm going to get uh, height minus b over 0 minus a. And I'm going to set that equal to our negative 1 over x squared. Now, because I want to end up getting back to my area equation, I want to isolate for height. So we keep this going we'll get height minus b equals a over x squared so height is going to equal b plus a over x squared. Now remember that we renamed these points a and b so I'm just going to replace b with 1 over x, and a with x, so a becomes x over x squared, so this equals 1 over x plus 1 over x, which is 2 over x, so this is my height. Remember the key point there was that we renamed a and b so that there weren't too many variables involved. I'll use that straight away on the second one. So we've got our height is 2 over x. Now I'm going to find this section of the line. And again, the slope of a line doesn't change, so it must remain the same. So to do the rise over run, I'm going to do 1 over x, which is my y2, right? That's the b coordinate, minus 0 over x, 
minus base. I'm going to write out the word base so I don't get confused. And that again must equal negative 1 over x squared. Perfect. Some quick uh, cross multiplying. And I will get x equals base minus x, which means base must equal 2x. So I've got my base, I've got my height, and when we plug that back in to our original equation here for area, area equals base, which is 2x, times height, which is 2 over x, over 2. The x's will cancel up here. We'll be left with 4 over 2, and so no matter what x is, the area is always going to equal 2, uh, because these x's will cancel. So hopefully that was okay. Again, the, the question becomes trickier because they, they call it A, B, when really it's X and Y, and your Y can just re be replaced by the function 1 over X so that you no longer have to deal with Bs and As, right? Everything can be in terms of X, and then you just sub that back in to show how the Xs cancel, and no matter where you are, the area of that triangle will be 2. So sort of an interesting question. Um, if you couldn't see out the beginning, this is the triangle that was created, right? Through the tangent line and then the axes. So hopefully that was clear. Um, if you have other questions, you can always send us an email, info at arnoldtutoring.com.